If you're watching this video, don't forget to drink water. and welcome to my channel in today's video I am gonna take you with me as I custom paint my old hydro flask not very old but I just need it to have a glow up are you ready to see my very old hydro <laughs> so this is one of the reasons why I'm excited to do this video my old hydro flask has a lot of dents and scratches na and I just want it to look pretty again. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This is my <laughs> this is my very first hydro flask. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but wait here, let me show you guys. Oh my god, my spider! There's a big dent right here. I don't know. I don't know why the bottle falls. It just falls, you guys. It's it's not my fault. I'm just kidding. I'm a clumsy person. And there's also like there's also stains on it because it's white. It gets e dirty. <laughs> because it's white, it gets dirty very easily. And there's like stains here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Never mind. Oh, there you cannot. You get. You guys can see this, right? Tell me you see this. So at the bottom, I. I <laughs> At the bottom, I have one big dent. I don't know if you can. I have a big. Oh wait, I have another dent. Oh my god! I don't want, I, who wants to see dents on your hydro flask? So all the more reason why I need to give this a glow up. Also, a side note: painting is just a hobby of mine. I'm not a professional artist or whatever i just like painting because it's very therapeutic without further ado let me show you guys the materials that i will be using here at home Sketch the design you want on a piece of bond paper. As you can see, I chose a sunset because I just love the beach and I'd kill to be there right now. You can also draw directly on the bottle itself but just be careful because the pencil marks can be hard to erase and it also might stay in your bottle. Next, use the masking tape to cover the Hydroflask logo and the rim of the bottle. This is to ensure that we don't get any paint on it. Choose your paint and transfer it on your palette. I'm not really sure if you call it a palette but it's this pink thing that I'm using my paint to put on. Then afterwards, mix the paint and start painting. Since we're painting a sunset, just keep blending until you find the shade that you want. You can also add shades of white and black to add some depth. So I forgot to show you guys that I'm gonna use this to outline the Hydro Flask logo. These are just some paint markers that I borrowed from my brother. Yeah, I'm gonna use the blue one. Yeah, it's not going as well as I planned it to be. The paint is just starting to get patchy. I don't know if it's because of the brand. This is actually a new paint that I'm trying and I wouldn't suggest using this paint for painting your hydroflask because the blendability is kind of it's kind of hard to blend. So 
So for the trees, I am gonna use this brand of paint because I feel like the new paint I bought this one, Art Rangers, the quality isn't as good, it's not as opaque and it just patches up whenever you apply layers so it's not really that buildable. I have to fix those spots as you can see but this is what happened when I tried to build it up. It just, yeah, it just patches up. So I can vouch for this, this is what I used in the previous Hydro Flask I painted which is this one. Okay guys, so I've decided to finish painting the bottle tomorrow because it's getting pretty dark outside and I'm also kind of tired. The struggles of being not a painter or not an artist. Never mind, don't mind what I'm saying. But I'm gonna show you guys what I have accomplished so far. Ta-da! Does it feel like we're in the beach yet? So the only thing I have to do is paint the trees and spray some coating spray. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Day 2 I'm adding another layer of paint for it to be more vibrant. And if you guys experience any patchiness, it's best to let the paint dry first then reapply after. Transfer your sketch from the bond paper to the bottle. And also, be careful when you draw because the sharpness of the pencil can scrape off some paint. Now I'm gonna paint the other palm tree. I found that tracing the paint over the pencil marks first was way easier to do than just going straight in. I just finished painting the bottle already and I'm on the way outside the house to coat the bottle with acrylic coating spray so that the paint stays in place and it doesn't wash off whenever you have to wash it. So let's go. Before you spray your bottle, make sure that the paint is dry because the paint and the coating spray could mix and it could ruin your final look. Gently remove the masking tape. Sometimes the paint can stick to it and you might end up having a bald spot on your bottle. bottle don't be because you guys got this you can paint it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click the notification button down below